Hi guys, welcome to New York City. We are going to see the four manual mender from 1993 at St. Ignatius Catholic Church here on Park Avenue. The organ is gorgeous. It has 16 foot facade pipes. It has a 32 foot bombard full length. So let's see. It's nice to have the air conditioning in this 90 degree weather. There you go. So you can see that uh, Rick Positive, it's one of the few Rick Positives in New York City. Um, it's eight foot tall. You, you see the eight foot Montre, principal eights in the Rick Positive. The two pedal towers with the 16 foot uh, principals and the facade. Also the grate up, up on top also has a Montre 16, a 16 foot principal. And it has two swell divisions, a small petit récit, which is great for choir accompaniment. It has a voix celeste, an oboe, beautiful corps anglais. And uh, each division has a trompette. It's a very French-inspired instrument. It's really extraordinary. Um, the parish was uh, founded in the in the uh, 1850s mm -hmm. and under a different name it and was it was the church of st lawrence o'toole yeah and then it was entrusted to the jesuits in 1866 and they changed the name to st ignatius loyola um, one of the most remarkable things i think about this instrument is actually the the casework and the wood is french oak harvested from trees that were probably planted right around the time of the French Revolution. Our, our liturgy here is, in my mind, kind of a hybrid between Catholic and Protestant. Mm -hmm. There's a, a good bit of uh, cantorial accompaniment mm -hmm. that we have to do with the cantor down front. Um, and, you know, we're a third of a block away from them. And so um, keeping the registers light enough to not cover up the canter but still lead is is crucial do you Instrument. have a favorite stop i have a favorite combination this is kind of funny the the positive mantra i like to put with the uh the one on the grand org And depending on the temperature and humidity that day, it may kind of yeah. celeste a little bit, and I, I don't mind that one bit. Man. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The uh, uh, the Grand Org mantra at one point, the, I think the toes were opened up significantly mm -hmm. to let more air in, and uh, we had them closed back down again to their um, Original. to their original so it's not quite as loud as it used to be I think it's uh, it has a more mellow sound mm -hmm. um, and that's just my preference uh, someone else may come in and do something totally different um, the trumpet on chamads are this is not a unit these are three separate uh, ranks <laughs> A little bit brighter, and then the forefoot is the brightest of them all. Preston four. With the Nazard. Doublet too, it's a very bright doublet. With the 
Danger. Place the plunger with the larigot. Let's do the flute à cheminée. which is a flute to foot. Just by itself with the flute à cheminée. Uh, cornet from a cornet decomposé. Cornet on the root positive, so let's do the reeds. The Cromorn um, with the flute douce. With the Prestant. The trumpet. That was with the Preston four. So let's do. I think I have finished everything on the root positive. Let's move on to the great. The Grand Orc, it's a very French organ. I just came to realize all the names are in French, but also the voicing, the trumpets are more French than German. But it can do a lot of things. So, Montre 8 of the Grand Orc. Compared with the Montre 16. And the Montre 8. And the Prestant 4. At 
add the doublet. Fourniture. It's a very beautiful blending mixture. It's uh, not as shrill as some other organs, and it really gives a gravitas to the plano. Very good with eight foot, but also try it with the sixteen. Accompany the pedal trumpet with that. Perhaps we need the cymbal. French registration would be to couple it with the Rook Positive's uh, planum and use a very strong pedal trumpet. So let's try the chamade. We have a chamade, trompette en chamade, which is extremely loud. <laughs> Accompany the trompette en chamade with the coupled root positive to the great planum. Let's see how it sounds. with the shamad in the in the pedal. So let's continue on the great. Um, Bourdon, eight. with the flute four. The flute harmonique. de Bourdon. V4. 
violoncelle. Let's compare the cornets of this organ. There's a cornet on the Ressi and there's a cornet on the Great and on the Rig Positive. Those were the cornets. And the reeds of the great trompette with the restant four. Compare it with the trompette of the rig positive. Trompet harmonique of the Ressi. Stops and uh, Clairon of the Great. Bombard 16. With the cornet. There is a 32 foot bombard. Let's hear it's an extension of the 16. Here's the 16 foot bombard in the pen. And then the bombard, it's 32. C and uh, with the bombard the trompet clairon Contrebass. Montre, 16. I believe some of these pipes are in the facade. Sounds like in the thirty two foot soup bus. And there is a mixture, uh, let's hear with the 
there's a bassoon 16 for a broke stuff. The mixture. The trompette. We don't need the trumpet. Sembal. Let's move on to the swell. Uh, I guess I finished the grade. So swell diapason. There's an eight foot diapason. Salisiono. Corps de nuit. Flûte ouverte. Clarinette with the corps de nuit. Actually, with the cornet, and there's a Bourdon 16. The song. Plange. Let's hear the Plangeur with the diapason and the octave. There's a, uh, I think that's all for the récit. And there's a petit récit, which is the fourth manual, a viol de gambe. Celeste, here we go.
Bourdon eight. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, there's some the flute traversier. There is the violin, which is gorgeous with the trombone. solo stop is a obwa And with the gamba. And the core anglais. Beautiful stops together uh, with the trompet. Let's hear the shamads again. Never enough shamads. Let's hear the shamans. Mm -hmm. 